It's pretty grim. Uh, and people here are very angry uh, and feel they've just been left alone. Uh, no one's offered them any help. Well, now, behind us, we can see help is coming. Um, and the local community are digging in. People from outside are helping them. And obviously, people are praying uh, that we don't get any more rain. But I really do feel, as far as the authorities in the UK are concerned, uh, just too little too late. The community secretary, Eric Pickles, has been speaking today. He apologised for the government not heeding the calls uh, of the last year or so for dredging to take place in this area. Um, what do you think of that? Do you welcome that? Well, I do welcome that, but the problem is the power to manage our rivers has been handed to the Environment Agency, and what's becoming clearer as the weeks go by is that the Environment Agency follow a whole series of European Union directives that have not led us to managing the rivers as we would have done traditionally. And I think once this mess is over, we've got to have a public inquiry about how we're dealing with river management in this country. Is it really the fault of you blaming all this on the European Union? I'm not blaming it all on the European Union, but there's very little question uh, that when it comes to dredging of rivers, or when it comes to priorities, uh, that beetles and water voles and bird life, it would appear, are rather more important than farmers and people who own ho houses. Do you have as dim a view of Chris Smith and the Environment Agency as some of the, uh, the people down here and certainly the local MP? Well, he looks very detached um, and he looked a little bit disinterested last week when he came. He wasn't really keen to get involved and talk to people. But, you know, I'm not surprised because last spring, there were a whole load of local politicians, including UKIP ones, going onto BBC television, warning that unless we started managing the rivers differently, unless we started dredging, unless we changed our priorities, there were going to be future real problems on the levels, and here it is. You've been saying that um, perhaps some of the UK's aid budget, overseas aid budget, should be diverted to help people who are struggling through these floods right across the country, not just here on the Somerset levels. Are you standing by that? Yeah, you know, I mean, I was, I was one of those people who, with the storm before Christmas, you know, I had a cracked chimney, I lost roof tiles, uh, well, the insurance company would pay for most of that, I lost 35 yards of fencing, I've got to pay for that, now I've got a good job, I can afford to put it back. Pe you know, pensioners, people living on fixed incomes, the insurance companies never pay out 100% of loss, and whilst it doesn't solve everything, what a weight off people's minds it would be if the government said that anybody that had lost severely through storm and flood damage over the course of this winter wouldn't suffer financial loss. And you could do that with a tiny fraction of the overseas foreign aid budget.